Hi, I'm Joel Brooks, owner of Moments in Time Video Productions and a Macro System Americas dealer. Welcome to another tutorial video session. Today, I am going to show you how to create an eye-catching video sequence with the Bogart Video Editing Program using multiple layers and combining various add-on effects. Using these techniques will provide your videos with a high-end appearance and will take your post-production with Bogart to the next level. For this demo, I will create a moving background sequence that contains several layers of effects. The add-on software programs I will be using for this session are Animex, Blue Box World, Slivers, and Pusher. I have already imported several video scenes to work with for today's tutorial video. The first step is to create a 10 second empty scene. Select a moderately bright shade of the color green. Set the alpha to 100%. The second step, select the add-on effect program called Slivers. Then under Type, select the Grid 9 option. This grid will help us to align the video image, size, and placement over the green empty scene. Set the border size to zero. Starting with the top left part, choose a scene for each of the top and lower three parts of the grid. Leave the three parts in the center of the grid open. We will fill this area with another image layer through a different method in a later step. The third step, place the newly created slivers seen in the storyboard twice, back to back. The fourth step, go to the transitions menu and select the pusher effect. Set the transition length to 10 seconds. This is an important step in order for the effect to work correctly. Next, set the type to in and out, then set the direction to move right. The fifth step, make a scene out of the combined three parts of the storyboard. If you have Bogart 9, you can use the excellent new feature in the scene creation menu called storyboard. If you are working with Bogart 8 or lower, use the Effect plus Scenes option to create the complete scene layer. Also, to save a step, be sure to activate the Replace in Storyboard option. The sixth step, create an additional 10 second empty scene of any color. The seventh step, with this new scene highlighted, go to the Special menu then scroll to select the add-on program called Animex 1. Choose the Select Animation option, then select the Product Type in the submenu and choose the list of Arabesque Background Animations. Choose the Background Number 3 Animation option. Set the Alpha to 100%. Select OK and Render. The eighth step Add the newly created animated scene in front of the pusher scene in the storyboard. The ninth step, select the add-on transition and effects program called Blue Box World. Set the transition length to 10 seconds. Launch the Blue Box World program. Go to the Blue Box mode menu and select the green screen option. Set the tolerance and density to 100%. Set the alpha to 100% and the transition to 5%. This softens the edges. Render out the effect and then make a scene of the effects and scenes and replace in the storyboard. The tenth step, your multi-layered scene is now ready to be used in conjunction with titles or other effects. Let's add a title graphic in the center part of this scene. Go to the Bogart title program. In this case, I will use and prefer the new Vertigo Titler program. 
Create a title, then place it in the center portion of the seam. Then render out. You now have a complete multi-layered video sequence that looks professional and gives your video a high-end production value. Eye Candy Multi-layering with Bogart Macro System